Beginning our broadcast now, Deputy President William Bruto has condemned chaos witnessed at RAPCA Church, Kennel Town, in Muranga County, Sunday morning. Ruto putting on notice public officers for engaging in divisive politics, saying the Jubilee government will not condone such acts. The Deputy President insisting that he is in Jubilee party to stay and he will not be cowed by those calling for his removal as a deputy party leader. This as Inspector General of Police confirmed two people lost their lives during the chaos. Early Sunday morning and Kennel Town in Muranga was visited by violence. Two opposing groups clashing only hours before Deputy President William Root arrived for a church service in the locality. The confrontation forcing the police to move into to try and contain the violence. When Ruto eventually arrived at the church, sanity had been restored and the service went on with heavy police presence manning the streets outside the church. And I want to ask all those who serve in this administration to remember where we came from, to remember where Uhuru Kenyatta and myself and the Jumidi administration got the responsibility to run the affairs of this nation. That is where we came from, and we must respect that. Speaking at the church, Deputy President William Ruto urged civil servants not to allow politicians to use them to cause division in the country. He argued that civil servants using their position to cause violence in the country were embarrassing the president and contradicting fundamental ideals of the party. Kwa sababu tulipiga magoti hapa kwenye madhabao haya, mungu akatupatia uongozi, mungu akatupatia serikali, ndiyo serikali hii ya jubilii kaundwa, haiwezi kuwa ndiyo serikali itakuja kupiga tear gas, kanisa, madhabau na watu wa mungu. It cannot be. The deputy president said a section of leaders in the country used to archaic politics were uncomfortable with the ongoing conversation on youth empowerment. MPs accompanying him wondering how goons could be used to try and disrupt a church service. Kwa hivyo leo ukifikiwa hapa kanisani kama kuna mtu wako hapa na ugonjwa na muuma mahali Mungu ponya huyo mtu hiyo ugonjwa yende ume wale walitupa tear gas kwa kanisa hapa They would want to storm and tear gas people in the house of God is because they want to balkanize the Mount Kenya region as a region that belongs to a certain group and not to everybody So today kutuma watu hapa na fujo Kama tumevuja ahadi kwa Kenya, the biggest promise we have broken is today. Walianza kukuigiria usitoe sadaka katika kanisa. Wameona umeedelea kutoa. Wakaona sasa watakuwa wanaharibu ibada ya kanisa. Ni jambo ambalo ni laibu. Sisi tumeona kama viongozi. Ambapo viongozi wengine wanapanga, wanakuja katika kaunti ya muranga, alafu wanakuja kuanza kutaja majina. Ukienda katika alta ya Mungu katika kanisa. Kwa nini utumie alta kudanganyana na kutaja majina ya watu na jambo ambalo ulijui? Ruto telling his supporters to remain steadfast as he was in Jubilee party to stay. Wao ndio wanafaa kuwa Jubilee ama ni mimi? Eh? Lakini si mnajua. Si Uhuru Kenyatta. Si kazi yetu ni kumsaidia amalize hiyo safari imebaki ya miaka miwili. Meanwhile, Inspector General of Police Hilary Mutembai says police have launched investigation following the chaos which claimed two lives. In a statement to newsrooms, the Inspector General said the conflicts ensued after two opposing groups clashed, warning that stern action will be taken against any person engaging in planning and executing unlawful acts. Suleiman Yeri, Channel 1 News.